Hello, I'm Mr. Pleasant Books. For this book talk, we'll be discussing We Are Legion, We Are Bob by Dennis E. Taylor. Let's see, what can I tell you? This is about a man who dies and is uh, has his head frozen and then is brought back to life in the future, but as a computer program. So, kind of like an, an AI, but based upon a brain scan of a human. And it's just about what he does once he's in the future and he's a computer. Uh, he gets to explore space and start that amazingly cool thing that I wish we could do now, <laughs> which is visit all of the stars. And yeah, that's just what the story's about. I will say that it is an excellent book. For me, it hooked me right away. Like I enjoyed the story start to finish. I thought it was well written, the character Bob himself is incredible. The other characters that show up in the book just fit the tone perfectly and help make it seem like it's really possible. Like this is something that could really happen and I enjoy that so much about the book. But that's all I can say for the non-spoilery so from here forward there will be spoilers letting you know. Okay so about the book I I like Bob. I like his sense of humor. I like the jokes he makes. I like how he reacts to situations. I I don't really get his hesitation to make clones of himself. I don't really have that. Maybe it's because of books like this that make me think about it to realize that this isn't going to be a problem for me. Like one of the problems he has is deciding is he alive or is he fake? And he goes through the whole you know like the Chinese room computer program, the philosophies that are discussed and am I me type of question type of questions and I I don't think I would have that problem. Whether I'm this form or another form, I maybe it's because of arrogance, maybe stupidity, maybe false confidence. I have no idea, but I don't think I would actually have a problem with, is this me? Yes, it's me. Because in the book, apparently, there is an 80% chance that he'll go insane because he won't be sure if he is real or if he's live or dead or whatever. <laughs> so it's a huge failure rate. And even if he succeeds, you know, and they say even if he succeeds, there's still a big failure rate after they've succeeded with all the testing and, and deciding what they want to do with him. <laughs> so it's, it's, I just, I don't think that would be a problem for me, especially if they do to me what they did to Bob, which is create him into a spaceship that can multiply, that can be sent out to explore the stars, live forever, have ability to learn. I mean, I would need to learn how to uh, do the computer software stuff, like make, make my own virtual reality. I, that would definitely be required. And Because I, I don't even have any the beginning of an idea right now for that. But it sounds like t relativistic time, I, I'd have a chance to learn. But that would just be so cool to explore the stars, to see what's out there. And I don't think our universe or our, our galaxy is as populated with alien life as like uh, Star Wars or Star Trek or even this book series says it is, but I know there's gotta be something out there, some sort of species, maybe super advanced, maybe super unadvanced. I don't know, but there's gotta be something out there. It would just be amazing to have that chance to explore it and, and never have to worry about dying because I could back myself up and, to, and, and, and always and be safe. It's, I think that's so cool. I mean, one of the, one of the things I I because I, I really looked into into anybody having discussions about this, but he something interesting I noticed that Dennis E. Taylor did I don't know if he did it on purpose or if it was just the way it worked, is that Bob, is afraid of making clones of himself because he doesn't know how it's going to turn out, he says or maybe I won't like myself, um, maybe I'll go crazy and become a psychopath. And he, he actually lists, makes a list of several different things that he thinks might happen. Or that, or that what he wants to do. Like he wants to stay and create more. He wants to go back to Earth. He wants to just leave and go explore. He wants to find somewhere that he can sit. And again, maybe he won't like himself. And then he makes clones. And it turns out that each one of his five clones is one of those personality things. Like Bill wants to sit there and create. Riker wants to go back to Earth and see what happened. <clears throat> Mario doesn't like anybody, wants to go off by himself. Uh, Milo just wants to explore. Could not care less 
about what happened to anybody or anything. And so it was just, and then when you look at like Bill makes his clones, he, he wants someone to stay with him. Garfield stays with him. When Bob makes more clones, he wants one to stay with him while the other guys can explore. One stays with him. It's, it's, it's each time there's a clone, you see that, that personality that he needs to be, like, to form shows up. And I thought that was really cool that Dennis E. Taylor did that. Like I said, I don't know if this has been discussed by other people or if it's on the forum or something. It's just something I noticed and I thought was a really cool thing that Dennis E. Taylor did. And then I also, <laughs> I also like how he's constantly referencing the art of war <laughs> to, to explain everything that he does. His fights, the way that he lives, the way that he moves, the way that he studies the Deltons. He still even used the art of war. Like, you gotta know where they're from and what they're doing. He, he call, <laughs> he's calling everything grilloid, pigoid, jaguar, whatever. It's always an oid on it. <laughs> because they're similar, but they're just different. But they're like roided up versions of, of earth animals. <laughs> so I think that's really cool. <laughs> and, and it's sad to say, but a nuclear war that happened on earth, uh, yeah, that, that's how it honest is going to go. Everyone's talking about how to be this wasteland that that you'll have to survive in, like Fallout or uh, one of those other things. But no, no, it would. If there was real nuclear war, radiation is going to kill you unless we've advanced far enough to figure out how to heal radiation, and the world's going to go into a nuclear winter where everything will die, nothing will be able to grow, and humans will go extinct unless we can get off planet, and. I, yeah, this is just the way it goes, and I'm glad ten, uh, uh, Taylor, Dennis E. Taylor, did that, showed that, that it's it's a doom. It's, it, you're doomed if we do nuclear war. That's just simple fact. And then that conflict, that constant fighting that he's having with that Brazilian vessel, and that, I mean, maybe it's because he's an engineer and he had his own business and he's, he's always coming with ideas. He handled that very well. I, don't, I doubt I would have handled it. My... my thought would have been missiles. I need to have to build missiles. I would never thought of a rail gun. Definitely would have never thought of busters. I and mean, honestly, if I get the chance to make enough money to freeze myself to become in the future, if we become ships and, you know, do this, honestly, this book series is a blueprint for what to do and how to survive. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if he was making it that way, but honestly, it gave me so many ideas. And if I were able to become something like a Von Neumann probe like Bob did, I, uh, yeah, so many things have just popped into my head and now I know and I could figure stuff out. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's another reason why I love the book so much. It just, it just fed into that I'd get to explore the stars one day because that's what I, I want more than anything else is to be able to go and explore space, see all of the worlds that are out there, find life if there is life. That, ah. Uh, I just like yeah, love this book. So cool, so amazing that he put it this way. <laughs> so glad I found it because I, I read it on a whim. I'm so glad I did. It was it was marvelous. It was fantastic. Ah, just an excellent book series or book. Uh, so that's it. That's that's all I'm gonna say for this. I'm Mr. Pleasant Books. For my next book talk, I will be discussing The Martian by Andy Weir. Alright, thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed. Mr. Pleasant Books. Bye.